Alright, good morning guys. Welcome to our unique devotion for the day. So, um, I guess we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, back at the beginning. Um, I'm going to read verses 1 through 5. Uh, this is entitled, Morality Defiles the Church. And here's the question, sort of take this question and listen to what I'm reading, put the question over top of it, sort of put them together, see what you come up with. What surrounds you? All right, so here's the most important part. Here's the scripture. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you, and such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles, that a man has his father's wife, and you are puffed up and have not rather mourned that he who is that he who has done this deed might be taken away from among you. For I indeed, as absent in body but present in spirit, have already judged, as though I were present, him who has done this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, all along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus. That sounds a little harsh, <laughs> and rightfully so. It should be. It, it's showing the weight of, of what sin is. So back to that question, what surrounds you? So I could get into the story here of what's actually happening, what's going on, but how, what, does it, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for me? So for me today, for you today, um, maybe for the next couple of days, think about what are you surrounding your life with? Not just, they're talking about sexual immorality here, but what sort of immoral things, and not, not necessarily judged by immoral by the world's standards, but by God's standards. So just take a, take a little bit of time and think about what you surround your life with, and just sort of be aware of it. It's not necessarily about being right or wrong, or, you know, direct action unless you think something is really bad and needs to be changed. Um, but use this as a time and a, and, a, and a tool to help you really recognize what you've surrounded yourself with, be it um, maybe accepted by God or not accepted by God. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's pretty simple, easy to do. I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve. I know. God has given you all the blessings you deserve, and I know that he's giving you a lot of blessings you don't deserve. Till next time, have a wonderful day.